Once installed our target SDK, next step is the Qt Creator configuration in order to compile and run our Qt applications. Opening Qt Creator, select Tools and then Options. On the left window, click on the Device button in order to create a new one. So, let's click on the Add button. Our suitable one is generic Linux device. And finally, we set the name. We can choose whatever. IP address for the target to be connected. OK. And then the username to log into the device. Next button. Then, clicking on the Finish button, this process will be completed. And Qt Creator tries to connect to the target. Clicking on this window, info like kernel versions and so on. In this case, it's also reporting that our sync is missing, but this is not an issue at this stage. And so, final test has succeeded. And Qt Creator is ready for target connection. Of course, whenever we like, we can repeat this test like this. As an example, we can show all the active target process. Then, opening the target console from our PC, working on it, and so on. Well, now we can start working on our final kit setting debuggers, compilers and Qt resources in use on the target applications. Proceeding this way and clicking on the Add button, we are driven on our custom debugger name associated to the debugger. And finally, its final path. Typically, resources can be found at uh, OPT subfolder reporting its name the version used for the compilation, then Sys, root, x86, USR, bin, and finally target architecture. Here are located all the necessary resources needed for software compilation and debugger for the target. In this case, we are going to click on the GDB button in order to select GDB item and that's it. The path of our debugger is now set. OK. Proceeding on our job, we are going to select compilers. At this stage, we can add both C and C++ compilers. So. Let's start from C, compiler, and let's assign a name for the chosen compiler. And here we go. C compiler's name has been set. Same procedure. It's going to be repeated for the chosen C++ compiler. Let's do it. And OK. Almost done. Mm -hmm. OK. Now let's, let's apply everything. And here it is. Compiler have been set. OK, next step. What we are going to handle now is the Qt version selection phase. And so, even in this case, we have to inform Qt what is the version related to our board and, specifically, we set it up selecting the correct QMake tools present into Qt5 folder sys then root. 
That's it. Qt version to be used for software compiled and debug is ready. Now we can create a new kit. So let's click on kit, then add button. And for it, let's choose a name, whatever we prefer. Proceeding to next step, let's specify it is a Linux device. Selecting as well which type is it. Obviously, the one created at the beginning of this process. Setup of this root folder is now to be specified. Of course, this is the OPT folder created during our SDK installation process. Okay. Now, let's select the two just added compilers. Let's select the debugger as well and the Qt version. And finally, clicking on apply, our Qt is correctly configured.